Hello, my name is Yusuf Sadiq and I'm from Beatus Bicycles. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take out the rear wheel of a bicycle equipped with a Shimano Nexus 3 system. There's also another video where I'll show you how to take out the rear wheel of a bicycle equipped with a Shimano Nexus 7 or 8 system. To take off the rear wheel of a bicycle equipped with Shimano Nexus 3 system, I'm gonna use my bicycle here as an example. So there's four tools you're gonna to need for this. The first two are two 10 millimeter wrenches, a 15 millimeter wrench, and a five millimeter Allen key to take off the bell crank. So I'm gonna show you what the first step is. So, so the first step to do is to take your five millimeter Allen key and to open up the bell crank, you do that right here, and then remove that. The next thing to do is to take off part of the chain case for my bicycle. I just have to pop it off right here. So that's the part taken off. The next step is to take your two 10 millimeter wrenches and to remove the holder here for the brake. This consists of a nut, a washer and a bolt, which goes in with the nut and the washer on the left side. Now, the next step is to remove the brake cable. So the way to do this is you release all the tension that is on the brake itself by loosening up this cable. So the next step is to remove the brake cable. So the way to do this is you take your 10 millimeter wrench and use the open-ended head and you fit that in between the nut right here to remove the brake cable. You twist it slightly to the left for the two red dots to align. And after you've done that, you pull it down. It takes some dexterity to do this and your brake cable is removed. And the next step is to pull your brake out of the holder. So to do this is to push it forward and then down, and then you've removed the brake cable. Now you take your 15 millimeter wrench and you open the nuts. And the right side as well. So after you've done that, you'll find a washer that you'll need to take off as well on both sides. And for my bicycle in specific, the mud guard is held on the rear wheel, so I'll take that off. So now the last step to do is to take off the chain tensioners by using the 10 millimeter wrench. The chain tensioners themselves have two roles. One is to keep the wheel straight and the other is to keep the right tension on the chain. When assembling the wheel back into the bicycle, I will show you how to get the right tension on the chain and also to keep your wheel straight. So I'll take off the other side now as well. So the last part is to take the lock nut, that's right here, and take that out. And then now you hold the chain tensioners and you push them down on both sides to release it and then push the wheel forward as shown and then your wheel is taken off the frame let's just remove the chain on the other side and that is your rear wheel removed so now it's time to put the rear wheel back into the bicycle. Um, not every single bicycle uses the same type of system, for example, for the chain tensioners. The overall system when putting on, for example, the bell crank or the brake is very similar. It's just that the chain tensioners are very different on each bike. So do bear in mind that this is a general sort of video and every single bicycle will be slightly different depending on how they've designed it. So the first thing you do is you take your wheel. Let me just show you that right here and you put the chain tensioners on each side. And after you've threaded them in, you take the wheel and you fit it in between the bike and you take the chain and you put it back onto the sprocket. When you've done that, what you'll need to do, and this requires some dexterity to be able to do that, you hold the chain tensioners into place and what you do is you lift it up and the chain tensioners need to go behind 
the, the frame. They need to be behind this part. They cannot be in front because for my specific bike, they need to be behind it. So you lift it up and you slide it in. And there you go. So after I've done that, I hold the chain tensioners and I lift them back up into place. So, so they slot right here and I lift the wheel back into position. You take this part, the holder for the chain tensioner. On each bicycle, again, this is slightly different. For mine, it consists of two parts, which is the holder right here and the nut holding it in place. And for the other side as well. So the chain tensioners don't need to go on really tight at the moment because as I said previously, the chain tensioners are used to put the right tension on the chain but also to maintain the wheel in a straight position. Now, they will be fine-tuned in a second and I will explain to you how that actually happens and what they actually do as you tighten or loosen them. Now you take the lock nut which consists of a straight part and a curved part so there's only one way to fit this on the rear wheel. So after you fit that in, you can see that the lock part of it is this top part is not in the right position it needs to go in exactly like that to be held in this position right here now the way to actually do this is because the brake moves freely you can actually twist this back up like so to get it into the right position so after it's in the right position it was going to be held in place and you can just push the brake back into position now you can see that the lock nut is right in the correct position of the rear wheel going to take a 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to tighten the chain tensioners up to the point where they're just hitting the holder right here. So we'll do that on both sides. Now this is going to be quite important. The way the chain tensioners work are, is very simple. If you tighten the left side, the wheel is going to be pulled to the left. And if you tighten the right side, the wheel is going to be pulled to the right. Now what you need to do is you need to move the wheel into a position where it's straight with the frame. This is done by actually looking up from, from the position that I'm in at the moment, which is just right here. So I look up straight in front of me right now, and I can see that the wheel is actually aligned with the frame. It's slightly bent at the top, so I'm just gonna hold it with my hand. And at that moment, what you do, as the wheel is in the correct position, you start to tighten the nuts for the chain tensioners until they are nice and tight against the, um, against the frame itself. So as I do that, I can see that the wheel is actually straight. It's slightly bent to the right. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten the left side slightly a bit more. And I can see the wheel moving up to the left side. While I do this, I try and feel the tension on the chain. It doesn't feel too tight and it doesn't feel too too loose so it's actually the right tension at the moment so at the same time while tightening these up you will basically pull the wheel backwards as well and if you pull the wheel too much backwards you're gonna have a lot of tension on the chain which is not exactly what you want so do bear in mind by putting on the chain tensioners you can either pull the wheel left or right but you can also put the right tension on the chain so bear in mind it pulls the wheel backwards but also tightening up one specific side will pull the wheel either to the left or to the right so for my specific needs I can see that the wheel is actually in the right position so there's not much else I need to do now so what I do now is I put my mud guard back into place you can see that my my wheel spins freely now so what I do then is I take my washers and my nuts and I put the washers into place first and then put this nut on this side Remember that this other nut, this lock nut goes on the other side and the reason for that is because the crank, the bell crank needs to go on top of this. So I'll tighten them up by hand first. Then what I do is I take the brake and I put it back into the holder using the two 10 millimeter wrenches. Bear in mind that the bolt and the washer need to be on the left side and the nut needs to be on the right side. So I'll put that into place right now. Make sure that this is nice and tight because it prevents your rear brake from moving around when you brake. So after I've done that, I take the brake, I slide it back into the holder 
and I slide it back under the brake itself into the rear holder. So that's the brake back put together. The last thing you need to do is take your 15 millimeter wrench, tighten up the nuts. And the last step being to put the bell crank back into place, use your six millimeter wrench. Use your six millimeter Allen key to put it back into place. This doesn't need to be very tight. It's more of holding the bell crank into place. It's not going anywhere. So don't over tighten this. And after you're done, you take the case holder, the chain case part, slide that back into place. And your bicycle, oh, and your wheel is ready to go. Thank you for watching the video on how to take out the rear wheel of a bicycle equipped with a Shimano Nexus 3 system. Please bear in mind, this is a very advanced job. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this, do take it to your local bicycle shop and they can do this for you. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to drop a comment below or get in touch through the website. Thank you.